Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, Garfi here. Um, I've got my first subscription to Warhammer Conquest and I thought I'd do an un unopening, unboxing, un unplastic bagging uh, right here on camera so you could see what you get being a subscriber. So we'll get rid of the, uh, the uh, order invoice. Oh, something's popped out. Something's falling out. Okay, the first thing it looks like is a little mould line remover. It's just a piece of metal. Interesting. Come back to that, make sure there's nothing else in there. Alright, okay. So, what else have we got? Okay, we've got some uh, plastic glue. Uh, this is Citadel plastic glue, so that's good. It's not a, it's not an unbranded, untested one. It is, does seem, appear to be made in the UK, but Citadel plastic glue. Good. Um, we have a pair of clippers. Now these do look to be unbranded. These aren't the Citadel ones. So I think these things are the uh, subscription specials. You only get these if you're part of a subscription with issues one and two. So let's have a quick look at them. Oh no, look, they do say Citadel on there. Can you see that? There you go. Interesting. So these aren't the more expensive ones, but they feel good. Got a nice spring there. Cool. Okay, that's great so far. Um, so we have issue one. Issue one's been out for a couple of weeks in the stores. Um, like Games Workshop stores. You've probably seen loads of people buy these up. I've seen some people buy 10 copies and stuff and start converting the Marines into different squads and stuff. Um, so there's issue one. And here's issue two. Got some dice here. Um, so let's open up, let's have a quick look here actually, so this is the subscription, so okay there's the plastic glue, no packaging, just the glue, looks like they're slightly different, I've got black and they're detailed as white there but essentially they're identical, uh, this has Citadel written on it and this one doesn't, but it does have a uh, hole, maybe you can put it on a key ring or something, I don't know if you'd want to but that's interesting, that looks like this, this looks like it's missing a handle, to be honest. Maybe I'll 3D print one. That's a good idea, actually. I might do that. Um, so, exclusive subscription gifts and plus a three, uh, free issue. So, I will be getting uh, a bit of money off by getting a free issue by doing the subscription. The binder looks cool and stuff like that. I'm not sure about the uh, premium subscription offer. It looks like you get counters and data cards and gaming mats and dice and a box. I'm, I'm not worried about that. For an extra pound fifty, I haven't gone with that. So, um, yeah, not fun. So let's uh, crack open issue one and have a quick look. So initially, we're greeted with uh, some cool uh, Primaris Space Marines. Uh, I don't think these are anything new. I, I think these are start a set marines or paint set marines or something like that um, they're easy assembled so that's good so can't i'm not a fan of assembling models so the quicker the better we get a retributor armor gold that's a really nice gold actually it's really thick great color content you can see the different lid it's uh this actually costs you a little bit more in stores than the standard paint so Getting that free is fantastic. Abdon Black, we all go through this so much, so getting the next one of those is brilliant. McCrag Blue, essential if you're going to paint these as Ultramarines. I don't think I will. Uh, people that follow me and know of me know I had a huge 15,000 point Ultramarine army. Uh, it was in White Dwarf at one point, and it, I'm burnt out with Ultramarines. I'm trying to revigorate a uh, an ultramarine army with some old school um some old school paint scheme but i'm just not feeling it i think i'm gonna do a, a brand new chapter uh come up with something new and different for fun so yeah there's the marines they look quite cool you get your bases they're 32 mil millimeter bases with uh, slots and there's a brush in here as well let's have a look at the quality of the brush so the bristles look, oh god, they're uh, stuck together. 
So I'm going to have to use some water to loosen loosen those up, but that's rigid. Very odd colour for a brush. Feels soft. I can't really see if it's. It just says starter brush. I just think it's a synthetic. I don't think it's sable or anything like that. It's. Um, I mean, this set is aimed at new guys and girls getting into the hobby, so they will destroy this brush in a couple of weeks, and that's part and parcel of the hobby. Uh, if I can give you, if you are new to it, and I give you a tip, uh, and it's about the tip, don't get paint in this part of the brush. That's called the ferrule, this metal piece. As soon as you get paint down deep into here. Um, you, it will dry eventually and it will just split the brushes called fish tailing avoid doing that at all costs just 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 work with the tip if you need more paint on the brush get a bigger brush um this brush is this isn't big enough to this is um, maybe base coat in small models um i mean these primaris marines are getting bigger and bigger that i would say this isn't this isn't big enough for base coat in but I'd, I'd get a bigger brush, a large brush, uh, to base coat these. Um, this you could use, you could do some highlighting with this, maybe. Um, no edge highlighting. You'd need a smaller brush, but yeah, uh, it's a free brush. Uh, you know, I may use it for a little bit, or I might just use it to paint PVA glue on bases and add sand to it. it it's not a particularly expensive brush. That feels like plastic. That is plastic. Okay, it's a. Pla <laughs> this is a really cheap brush. Um, but too much to talk about the brush, let's move on. Let's see what's in the magazine. Okay, so, right, this is a, all right, okay, this is a poster and it's going to be huge. So, more marketing stuff about, uh, about uh, what you get in the subscriptions and stuff. I mean, this is just cool. This is what attracted me to it. If I can keep up with painting this. Uh, every month because subscription you get your four issues at once once a month if I can keep up with this this is going to be awesome because this is going to be in 80 issues time uh, about 18 months I'm going to end up with uh, a gaming board's worth of terrain and two whole armies so that is going to be epic but it's keeping up with it and I'm going to try my best um, I'm not going to be able to get the whole poster in shot but you kind of get the idea it's a big ultramarine Yay, cool, brilliant. Okay, let's put that to one side. That's nice, nice getting a poster with issue one. Here's issue one. Uh, like I say, it's been out a couple of weeks already. The magazine is really flimsy. It's uh, it's not white dwarf quality, but and it is really thin as well. There's not much here. Um, binder holes, that's awesome. Uh, also, this has been glued on the edge this isn't bound there's no staples here so you can actually peel these apart so when you get your binders you can put these in order you can put all the history parts in order all the is that building that's painting painting parts in order uh, and likewise so uh, is there any other is it just Okay, it's just red and yellow in this issue, I think. Oh no, there's some blue there. How to build. Okay, cool. Uh, look, there's the clippers. They're the expensive Games Workshop clippers. You don't get those. But it's still cool. You still get good clippers. Um, so yeah, you can peel this apart. So let's just have a quick look at uh, issue one. Stuff going on all over the place. So introdu introduction, uh, we've got contents. Uh, Dark Imperium, an empire turn in, torn in two. So this is literally paragraphs of info. This is to get the beginners into it. Uh, Space Marines, some basics on that. Some color scheme options. Silver Templars, they look cool. They do look cool. Silver and yellow. Um, reminded me a little bit of my um, Primal King Stormcast army. So. Maybe do a, I don't want to do a Space Marine Army with the same colour scheme. That would be ridiculous. Um, this is interesting. So you've got a Space Marine and then a Primaris and then some of the other armour variants, um, which is cool. Some background. This is all. This is all great information for beginners to explain why there's arrows on shoulder pads and stuff like that. It all makes so much sense. This is cool. 
Yeah, this is nice. So this is just like a little. This this directly relates to whatever you got that month in your kit. So uh, this whole issue is all about the intercessors and stuff like that. And it is it is basic. And I mean, you can see who it's aimed at. They've got a young child uh, painting the models here. But I still think adults are going to get get a real buzz out of this as a collection. As a collector myself, collecting this monthly, I think it's going to be really cool. And um, I've subscribed, and if it doesn't work out, um, I can stop the subscription at any point. So if I get a bit bored of it, and or I think you know, I'm a bit tired of these Marines and stuff like that, I want to do something different, I'll just stop the subscription. Or maybe I'll keep the subscription and just shelf it and come back to it another day. Um, <laughs> this is interesting. So it looks like they're potentially painting over the plastic of the model. There's no undercoat in there. They're 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 just painting gold and black onto. Maybe it is base coat. I don't know really. You've painted your intercessor with crag blue and picked out the model's darker areas with abaddon abaddon black. Now the black paint has dried. It's time to add some retribute gold. Yeah, maybe they have. Yeah, I guess it just looks like bare plastic. Yeah, this is uh this is very beginner stuff. Uh, Eve of Battle, so I guess that's letting you know that issue two, you're going to start getting some other bits. Mission Briefing. Yeah, very basic. But, um, you know, you'll flick through that once and never go back to that. Right. Oh, on to issue two. Let's move all that out of the way. So, in issue two, you also get some models. Oh, and something else by the Okay, let's uh let's have a look at this first. So this is cardboard and this looks like this is your first arena of war. So okay, look, there's on this edge you have your rulers and a couple of counters. So I guess you cut these out. It'll probably tell you what's in the magazine what to do, but cool, and it looks like there's starting points. Death Guard starting point, and yeah, you play your first game. Um, this will explain why you have dice in uh, this kit. Let's see how lucky I am. Let's roll five and play Yard, see what I can get. Uh, I'll keep the fives. Oh, fives. You saw that as a five. No, no, no. No, rubbish. Okay. Um, yeah, dice. Yay. Sixes. No, you can see I'm useless at rolling dice. Right, let's look at the uh, models because you didn't come here to watch me roll dice. So we have got some Death Guard. Now, these are really cool. Looks like we've got plasma weapon on the back of the uh, backpack there. Looks like a power fist. Yeah, helmet's cool. That's like your classic Death Guard. That is awesome. Yeah, these look great and they're covered in detail. Bolter. Oh, this looks cool. I think this is one of the new Death Guard weapons. That's awesome. So it's not not just a standard three Marines. It's looks like you're getting power fists and stuff like that. So that's that's really cool. Um, we do get a paint. We get a Death Guard green. It's kind of a a must, and that's a that's a base paint as well. So that should go on quite nicely without needing uh, too many coats. Uh, but always. Thin your paints, as anyone will know. Okay, that's cool. That's cool stuff so far for issue two. Uh, and here's the magazine. It's in the back. So looks like uh, issue. It's telling us what we're getting in issue three and four. So issue three, we're getting some uh, reavers and uh, some silver. Uh, Going to be needed. Going to get a um, a really dark skin tone for Bugman's glow for these guys, uh, which I would use as a wash on these. I wouldn't start with that. I'd I'd paint these light and then wash that over it and then repaint the light, but it'll be interesting to see how they do it. Uh, I probably won't be following the paint guides in here because uh, I want to do my own thing. Um, but yeah, so uh, straight away in here we've got an introduction to the Death Guard. Uh, got your contents. It looks like there's more green in this one than issue one, so this must be the battle thing. Now we've got dice aboard and models. Um, cool, there's some really nice art in here. I, I don't own the Death Guard Codex, so I can't tell you if it's reused art. I suspect it is. 
Um, uh, I've never seen this before, so this could be new, but I've seen that. Uh, yeah, this is cool. So this is like issue one, but focuses on the plague marines instead now. So yeah, this looks great. This uh, this is how to build the models. Uh, doesn't come with that. You probably have to go and purchase one of those. Uh, but it's a water pot. Use a jam jar. Honestly, don't go and buy a water pot. Um, it's not worth it. Uh, what else we got? So yeah, these are the colours. Uh, so you would have got these two in issue one. Um, nice. Okay, cool. Very very basic, like issue one, but. Uh, yeah, you go from that and then here's your heavy metal style <laughs> painted models um, so here you can see they have cut off the uh, range rulers from the map it didn't appear to be perfed so you can't tear it so you do have to cut that so uh, if you're very very young ask an adult um, and I'm sure they'll help you uh, or observe you okay cool so this is the basics of how to play a game um, it's not it is rules, so it's the turn sequence, movement, how to move. So this isn't the mission, this is how to play, this is the rules. How to shoot, diagrams, stuff like that. And this, the guns, this guy, this guy has got the fist and the plasma gun, so uh, rapid fire rules as well for the uh, bolters. Blight launcher, that's what it's called, blight launcher. Um, and here you go, get these great free modeling tools. Yeah, we've already discussed those. Looks like we're going to be getting um, better brushes and a Citadel paint handle. Uh, don't buy the Citadel paint handle, buy mine. <laughs> Shameless plug. Uh, here's the one I make uh, and sell on eBay. And uh, it's got a uh, finger rest, it's got a cork. Uh, it takes shims for different sizes. This will fit a 50mm base. Oh, I'm involved now, I'm going to show you. So. Uh, 50 millimeter base, off you go, you're painting. Want a finger rest? Add a finger rest. There we go, new painting away, lovely. Want to paint upside down details? Hold the finger rest, you're not even touching the model now. Anyway, sorry, that is a shameless plug. Uh, I'll put a, put a link on eBay, a uh, link to eBay on the description. And anyway, that's that's us done pretty much. So um, yeah, that's great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down, assemble some models. Uh, and get on with this because it looks cool. I want to get these done before the next two issues drop uh, in two weeks time and then I think after that it goes back to monthly uh, subscription drops. So yeah, if, if you're interested with this, issues one to four are going to be available in stores uh, like uh, your WH Smiths and stuff like that uh, or Games Workshop stores. Um, one thing to note is apparently this is a UK only subscription uh, or magazine service. Uh, I hope they, the company that does this, Hatchet Paperworks, they have got offices around the world that they go on their website. So there is no reason why they can't do a um, a global rollout of this, or certainly in bigger markets. Um, I guess maybe they're testing the water with um, uh, the UK first, maybe, but. Who knows? Um, I, I really do wish for other people in the hobby they get an opportunity to partake in this because it's really cool. And uh, if you're a collector like me, it's such a nice thing. And you know, you get in from work and your magazine's waiting for you. That's really cool. You know, something to look forward to. Um, all right, the writing and that might not necessarily be aimed at me, and you're going to flick through these so quickly um, that these are going to end up in a binder and just left in a binder. Um, or maybe I'll pass them on to a, a younger starter. Uh, you know, who's wants to get into the game or learn to paint or something like that you know there's there's ways of doing this but the magazine I'm not particularly interested in the magazine it's gonna I'm gonna read it I'm gonna look through it you never know what you're gonna find but um, it's more about the models for me and apparently there is a huge saving if you do the basic subscription uh, you can end up saving something like 270 to 330 pounds depending on where you buy from because um, obviously different places sell uh, stuff for different amounts of money so yeah, it's it's cool. It's going to be good. I'm I'm looking forward to it. So uh, make sure you follow, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, also check me out over on Tale of Painters. I'm going to be documenting my progress uh, on the blog, uh, the Tale of Painters blog. I'll put a link in the uh, description of this video. 
Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep up to date with this as much as I can and see how it goes. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned, keep watching. Uh, thanks for watching and see you soon.